Let's work on this problem. A rectangle is inscribed in the parabola y equals 24 minus 2x squared with its base located on the x-axis. What are the dimensions of the rectangle that will have the maximum area? One of the best things we could do right now is to draw a picture. So we have a parabola, and notice that there's a negative sign in front of the x squared term. So this parabola is going to have a y-intercept of 24, and it's going to open downward. So we don't need a perfect graph in order to get the right answer, but it's going to look something like this. And we have a rectangle inscribed inside of this parabola, and the base is going to be on the x-axis. Now the distance between the origin and this point, that's going to be x. The height of the rectangle, which is basically the height of the curve, that's going to be y. And we have a function that relates y to x, and it's y is equal to 24 minus 2x squared. Now I'm going to redraw the rectangle. Our goal is to determine the dimensions of the rectangle that will give us the maximum area. So this is the length and this is the width of the rectangle. When solving optimization problems, you need to use two functions, the constraint equation and the objection function. The objective function is the one that you're trying to maximize or minimize. In this case, that's the area. Now we know that the area of a rectangle is equal to the left times the width. Now if this is x, this is also x. So the length of this rectangle is going to be 2x. The height is going to be y. So the area is going to equal 2x times y. Now we want to get the objective function, in this case the area, in terms of one variable. And we need to use the constraint equation to do that. So I'm going to replace y with what it's equal to, 24 minus 2x squared. So I'm going to get the area is equal to 2x times 24 minus 2x squared. Distributing the 2x, that's going to give us 48x minus 4x cubed. Now we have our objective function in terms of one variable. Now, in order to determine the maximum area, we need to find the first derivative and set it equal to zero. And here's why. Let's say if you have a graph, the maximum and the minimum, they will occur at points in the graph where you have a horizontal tangent. And the horizontal tangent has a slope of zero. And you could find a slope function by finding the first derivative. So that's how you can find the points where you have a local maximum or a local minimum. You need to find the first derivative, set it equal to zero, and solve for x. That's where the horizontal tangents occur, and that's where you can find the critical points where the function is at a maximum or at a minimum. So what we're going to do is we're going to find the derivative of the area function. Whatever the objective function is, you want to find the first derivative of that function and set it equal to zero and solve for the variable that you need to solve for. In this case, it's x. The derivative of x to the first power is 1. The derivative of x cubed is 3x squared. And we're going to set that equal to zero. So right now we have 48 minus 12 x squared is equal to 0. I'm going to take this, move it to this side. So this is going to give me 48 is equal to 12 x squared divided by 12. 48 divided by 12 is 4, so we get 4 is equal to x squared. Now, taking the square root of both sides, we get that x is going to be plus or minus 2 
but since we're dealing with the area of a rectangle, we could use positive values. So we get that x is equal to 2. So now that we know the value of x, we can get rid of this and this and this as well. So we know that at x equals 2, the area function will be at its maximum value. Now we need to determine y, so we're going to use this function. Let's plug in 2 into x. So this is going to be 24 minus 2 times 2 squared is 4. And 2 times 4 is 8. 24 minus 8 is 16. So the dimensions, well, we don't quite have it yet, but right now we know that x is 2 and y is 16. Now the length of the rectangle is 2x. And x is 2, so 2 times 2 is 4. So L is 4. The width is the same as y. So the width is going to be 16. So those are the dimensions of the rectangle that will give us the maximum area. It's 4 by 16. So that's the answer that we're looking for. Now, if you want to determine the actual maximum area, we just got to multiply these two numbers. So 4 times 16, it's going to be 64 square units. You can also plug in these values into this equation, and you'll get the same thing. So that's it for this problem. By the way, for those of you who want more example problems on solving optimization problems like this, I do have another video on YouTube. If you type in optimization organic chemistry tutor in the YouTube search bar, it should come up. If you don't see it, I'm going to be posting a link in the description section below so you could find it there as well. So remember, anytime you need to solve any type of optimization problem, you need to get two equations, the objective function and the constraint equation. The objective function is the function that you're trying to maximize or minimize. You want to get that function in terms of one variable using the constraint equation. Once you have that function in terms of one variable, what you need to do is find the first derivative, set it equal to zero, and solve for either x or y, whichever variable that function is defined to be. Once you solve for x or y, then you could find the dimensions and you could find either the minimum area, the maximum area, the maximum volume, whatever it is that you're trying to maximize or minimize. So that video on optimization has a ton of problems. Now the free version on YouTube has a few problems, but the full version, which you could find in the description section of that video, has even more problems where you could really master this topic. So feel free to take a look at that when you get a chance.